That one. Who's that one? Choke down my big old worm. Yeah, not too bad. The guy. First fish, not bad. May have set my expectations a little too high. Hope he can get back. Oh no! Yeah, he made it. Thought I felt a pretty good bump instead of uh, bouncing it off a rock. I know what I thought it was at first, but. Yeah. What's the little thing of drop shot and. They think a tiny little uh, finesse worms, four inch finesse worms, light eighth ounce maybe hooks or, or eighth ounce uh, weights. And I'm still on the, the lighter and the weight lighter weight side. I wanted the half ounce, but just didn't really feel like buying any uh, tungsten, so I just went with the biggest lead that they had. I think it's five sixteenths. It's not even, it's not even big. But I've had good luck drop shot in bigger worms. You know, I mean, if you use a shorter leader, it's kind of like just using a modified shaky head, basically. You're just... Especially in your, your fishing places, you know you're going to get snagged up. You don't want to lose, you don't want to be losing shaky heads left and right. Those little lead weights, I've, I don't mind losing those at all. There's kind of basically two styles of retreat of these bigger worms. You can either hop them back or just drag it back. That, you know, that stirring up all that dust and stuff kind of attracts these fish to come to say, hey, what the hell is digging around over here? Especially as there's crawfish in these ponds and those bass are eating them. They see, some, they see that moving around and think that's what it is. Even that bigger fish, he didn't. He didn't just attack it. He kind of just picked it up and carried it off. And it's 7:38 in the morning. That water temperature is still high from a week's worth of 100 plus days, 100 plus degree days. So they're still going to be a little lethargic. They're hungry. They're just going to be a little slower. Another one on the big worm. Just actually letting that one sit.
we're getting. That's a big fish. Yeah, that's a big fish. Oh, man. Look at that. Got my crawl. <laughs> Look at that big boy. Ow. Dug that brain right into my finger. Look at that big boy. Woo! Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Look at that big girl. Took my crawl. It's a big, it's a big damn catfish. Look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Flipping and pitching. Catching. <laughs> Catching a big old freaking catfish. Oh. Look at that. God. Ah. That was interesting. I didn't even have the camera rolling. He destroyed this thing. Look at that. <laughs> Alrighty. This is why I'm throwing that craw. That's what's in here. I know it's not the best representation, but it's exactly why that crawled it. That's exactly why that catfish smashed it. Because that's what's in here. Bunch of crowd ads. Right now, I'm just kind of casting it, swimming it back. too heavy on the weight getting that getting that right weight is crucial I know it it changes your presentation quite a bit the way that thing will hop or how long it kind of stays suspended or whatever it just changes it up a little bit just, I, I'd always I always kind of would err on the side of going too too light for my weight than going too heavy unless of course you're trying to do a certain technique where it requires a really heavy weight or punching or something like that If you're just Texas rigging, 
and you're not fishing super deep. Anytime the bite gets tough, <clears throat> I always try some finesse. Whether right, it be a drop shot or a shaky head, something something slow and small. It usually usually produces for me, but if, you know if they're not going to bite anything else, they're going to bite they're going to bite a small four-inch worm. Sometimes it's slow and painful, but if you're persistent, sometimes this is the way, only way you can catch them. Sometimes it pays off. Might be a decent one. And, you know, it works. Tiny rebarb hook, a little bitty red worm. Produced me a nice little bass. A little skinny guy, but you know, it's a lot better than getting skunked, that's for sure. <laughs> 